Hi everyone. Today I wanted to talk about the difference between being in love with someone and actually loving just the person who they are. I know relationships can be very difficult and last time we um in one of our previous videos we talked about different things that you can say or do um instead of saying i love you so today i kind of want to do it probably like an extension of that video if you will difference between loving someone and actually being in love so let's just dive in right now and sorry about the background noise it is summertime so the ac and fans and whatnot so okay attraction versus deep connection sometimes there can just be an attraction with somebody um whether it be you like how they smile or you like their jokes you like how intelligent they are but actually having a deep um connection with somebody is very important and deep connection sets you up for the long term um for love right and the better you have or the deeper connection you have with somebody knowing somebody inside and out and knowing how they react and knowing um their likes and dis dislikes um the better it is um, for your relationship. And that also shows that um, that you're in love with somebody versus just, um, just you love that person as a person, right? I know for me, I have, I have a partner and I love him deeply. However, I do have friends, um, like I have friends that I love, right? But I'm not in love with them and um, like I have a best friend that he is amazing however I'm not in love with him but I do love him I wish him the very best I I'm always there for him he's always there for me um, he's also a friend um, has now become a friend of um, my partner who I have now and I say now become a friend because I've had this best friend for um, years over 20 years and so that's <laughs> but I love that person right so okay so I just wanted to share a little bit about me okay inf um, infatuation versus um, commitment you can be infatuated with somebody um, wanting to know where they're at um, the int and it can be intense sometimes overwhelming feeling that it can be easily mistaken for love but actuality you're just infatuated with them um, and it says instead of having a strong emotional feeling look for stability and commitment those are the two things that you want to look for versus just infatuation both partners should want to build together strengthening as a couple through challenges they face so if you're not um, looking toward the future with somebody and um, thinking about the future and how you can help each other be successful and it's your and focusing on your guys's journey then more than likely it's just an infatuation versus a commitment and um you just love that person versus um just having versus having a deep connection with that person however and i also wanted to tell you that this video is solely um based on my research and my own personal experiences so um if your relationships are different that's okay every relationship is validated we i mean every everybody's journey is different everybody is different so um this is i just wanted to share with you what i my research has showed me and um, my own personal experiences also the desire to impress versus acceptance while the early stages of a relationship you want to see you working hard to impress your partner in the long term it is essential that you both become comfortable with your vulnerabilities um vulnerability fa uh, fosters closeness intimacy um because it tells your person that you're that you trust them versus if you're acceptance means that you trust you trust them right because one moment one moment I think someone's here at my door oh my goodness um so sorry about that I had a phone call I cannot believe that I have a phone call um passion versus partnership the romantic and physical parts of a relationship can be fun and great way to build loving connection but a well-balanced relationship will 
always focus on emotional support, um, consistency, and shared goals. If you don't have those things, perhaps it is the passion that you're driving after. I know um, I've heard of people even say, yeah, they love the idea of being in love, but they don't actually love the person. So that could be the case in this scenario as well. Um, a solid relationship is built on a journey rather than um, an existing adventure, right? It's the journey that they're looking for. It's not just right here, right now, adventure of the relationship. So um, jealousy versus trust. This is a big one because I've been in both um, parts of this jealousy and versus trust. As a foundation, any long lasting um, relationship has, um, has trust. But if you're jealous, then there's definitely an issue there. When a partner is jealous, it can be demonstrated as a lack of confidence in the relationship and can stem from um, possessiveness, which can cause issues. Also, um, also, if somebody is jealous, look, maybe they need some type of reflection on what their past is, where they come from, right? Um, their background. And so that's something that they need to recognize and fix especially if your partner is or that other person is trustworthy but yet you still have a jealous person so um you definitely need to look at yourself if you are jealous and figure out what is the root cause of your jealousy okay the next one is a uh, dependency versus support for any long-term relationship both partners must find their happiness within themselves rather than um, relying entirely on someone else for your happiness. Um, it's normal to look to partners for emotional support and guidance, uh, guidance especially in a long-term relationship. Emotional dependence, however, um, passes the point of support. So you have to be, uh, support and dependency, it means that you have to have that little bit of confidence in yourself, right? In order to be um, sustaining yourself emotionally you have to be emotion like an emotional sustainable person you can't rely on that factor just from solely one other person um idealization versus realism everyone has their flaws and issues and a good partnership will recognize and accept this idealization in a relationship and uh, where partners see each other through uh, rose tinted glasses ignoring or gazing over individual problems um yes this is can definitely be a problem um because you need to pay attention to the red flags okay and if you don't then it's idealization i can't even say it versus real realism we're not being real with ourselves and sometimes when you're not being real with yourselves this is where you also find yourself being emotionally physically um, verbally abused so um, be aware what ideally is and versus realism what's really going on short-term happiness versus long-term happiness um, successfully we want long-term happiness but we need to ensure both partners are fulfilled and excited about their futures together that's what's very important so think about that as well and um I just wanted to bring this topic to you today because I just thought it's a great extension um, compared, well, in um, a good companion compared to the other video that we did. So um, if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. And if you have any ideas or thoughts on this video, please leave your comments um, below and I will see you on the next video.